Lisa, and welcome to Cat Chick. I am making for you and my friend and me for the first time onion rings. And I'm not going to do a 20 minute video on how to make onion rings, which really only should take about three minutes. So we cut the onion. I am using Walla Walla Sweet Onions. Imagine that. Walla Walla, Washington State. I'm not real fancy at cutting onions, and also this is my first video, so if some of my cutting methods sort of freak you out, go for it. Okay, I filled the onion, putting it in my garbage bowl, thanks to Rachel Ray. Gotta give credit when credit is due. Cut the onion. I've seen videos where it's from a half an inch, three quarter of an inch. And I'm going to cut it wherever the way I want it. That looks pretty good. And no, I don't use that fancy thumb thing or finger thing that everybody uses. But I do have a cute little toy to help me with holding things. There we go. And cut. All right. Now, some people only pick out the best part of the onion. Since this is my first time, as you can tell by my perfect cutting job, I'm going to put in oh, everything. Why not? My dog Cody here loves to eat. Cody here loves to eat. So he'll probably eat this What is the matter, Cody? And I should mention something about Walla Walla Sweet Onions. They burn your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Now I'm not soaking these in buttermilk or anything. Like I said, it's the first time and it should be easy. Okay, we got that done. Next is batter. I love Kentucky kernel seasoned flour. Perfect for everything, especially onion rings. Speaking about onion rings, Peggy, Mm -hmm. You ever wonder why I have all these gadgets behind me? I've always wondered why. Well, I first have a TV. You know, when you're in, cooking in the kitchen, you want to be entertained, especially if you're alone. I'm single, by the way. <laughs> um, oh, you always have to put in that plug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway. And she I, cooks. Yeah, I cook too. Uh, this is a Hamilton Beach Professional Air Fryer here. Again, it's my second time using it. Uh, first time I made cod, it tasted beautiful. I also have the Ninja XL Air Fryer, perfect for chicken wings. I also have a Blackstone Indoor 17-inch griddle, uh, which is down in storage right now because I'm not using it. Okay, I have my dry flour. And again, the reason I like Kentucky Kernel is you don't need to season it. Unless you don't like the particular seasoning in it, you can add more of what you like. Right now I'm making my batter, which is going to be the beer batter. And it's very simple. You don't need to do a lot of stuff with it. It's batter and beer. <laughs> Here we go, I'm going to pour in a little bit. I might have to get another box of the Kentucky Kernel Oil. Uh, the mixture should be more liquidy than paste, uh, like pancake mix, but if you're like me, I like my pancake mix thick. So this theory won't work with the onion rings. Lisa, can you tip that up this way a little bit? Oh. Well, we still can't see, but there you go. Okay. So I still think we need a little bit more uh, beer in it. 